Hi Steph, uh, my name is Judy Nyoera. I am a content creator. I'm also an influencer, a business woman. I am also a mother to a 13 year old, a whole teenager and a wife to a beautiful, a handsome, they say, but they're also beautiful, I mean, come yeah. on. A handsome young man, yes. And we are writing a love letter. Hey. Um, Nini ladies? Oh, it's, ah, ah, you stop, guys, ah, come on, ah. Nice. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, my name is Abel Mutua. I am a co-founder of Philip Productions Limited. I am a filmmaker, screenwriter, and a YouTuber. Storyteller extraordinaire. And we are writing a love letter. All right. Oh, it's amazing, man. I worked out. I'm feeling energetic. Uh, I'm barely fitting in my shirt, but uh, <laughs> mungu wana <an> saidia. <laughs> Yeah. Any time. Wait, wait. So describe to us how you and said young man met. <laughs> oh, I we met um, in the year 2007. Mm -hmm. It was the first time I saw him and he saw me. <laughs> and this was, yes, seeing like this, yes. And uh, that was at the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication. I, was, I had just joined the college as a first year, and he was in his final year in the same college. Yes. And um, after a couple of months, he was a hot kick in that school. Because at the time, he was a superstar, known in the entire, by everybody in the entire country, because he was on a TV show, on Citizen TV, that was doing very well at the time, Tahidi High. So um, I get into college and there's a buzz because there's this young man, very handsome, and every chick in that school wants him. <laughs> <laughs> and me being from the village, coming from the village, with no TV or nothing, I didn't know, I did not, I had not even heard of uh, the show, yeah. so I did not know who he was or why everybody was so excited to see him in school. Anyway, anyway, to a couple of months later, he calls me uh, saying that he found my hoodie uh, somewhere and he wants to bring it to me. So I'm like, okay. But that hoodie had given like one of his friends during a rehearsal for drama, because of course, um, when you get into school and there are all these uh, co-curricular activities and then you get to choose, so I chose drama is one of the things I wanted to do. So I'm like, okay, sour. So he comes to the hostel and uh, he knocks and the girls open and the girls are very excited to see him. And of course, to Nendenje, to have a, as in for him to give me the hoodie. Anyway, Steph, to cut the long story short, it turns out. It turns out the hoodie was just an excuse to come and throw some lines and see if it's gonna. Uh, so the lines were no, actually he didn't. Okay, in all of, I don't, I can't remember. It's been so many years, but what I remember is, of course, now him giving me the hoodie, and then at some point. He said, uh, by the way, uh, I like you. And I'm like, okay, liking is good. <laughs> yeah. That mean I could like, come on. <laughs> yeah. But then he was like, no, like, I like, 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 I like, like, like you. And I'm like, oh, okay. And at that particular point, I, sh I think it's fa only fair if I mention this. I was dating somebody else. Okay. Yes. Blood twist. <laughs> Blood twist. Yeah, so I'm like, what do you mean? And I thought he knew, because most people in, the, okay, a few people, or maybe many people knew, because he would come pick me up over the weekend and go. So I assumed he would, he probably knew. So he says, yes, hey, hey, nakulaika, da, 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 da. And uh, would you mind if I gave you like a, a small kiss, if I kissed you? I was like, yeah, yeah, what is happening? Anyway, me with even 
with the other person on the other side i decided let's do it anyway and i accepted the kiss yeah. and the, that was the beginning that of the everything yeah yes it's so interesting how this <laughs> happened years ago and you remember such minute details oh that's one i remember <laughs> i don't think i can ever forget that yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right mm, the year was 2008 Location, Kenya Institute of Mass Communication, South B. Um, there was a, a place, a chill spot that we used to have in college called uh, Jobless Corner. Nothing good used to happen there. So basically, uh, where the ladies' hostels were and uh, the mess where people go to eat was on one side. Then the tuition area was on another side then the men's hostel was on another side so we'd find ourselves going to the ladies side because yeah. that's where the mess was that's where we used to go and you know take our dinners and, and lunch yeah so once you grab your plate uh, if you're a senior jobless corner was for you Uh, it was very strategic yeah. now we check out mamas when they are leaving their hostels going to you know grab some food it was beautiful food for the eyes yeah. came to realize uh, years later that actually that was uh, was wrong <laughs> 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 anyway so i'm chilling there one of these afternoons and uh, a conversation starts somebody says hey, hey guys i think i've seen that 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 mama we were talking about So me I'm there wondering uh, who's mama are we talking about? At yeah. <laughs> wow wow mama you guys there's a chick here. Wow this chick is blazing. Yo she's fire. I'm like ah, I haven't seen her. Yeah she's a first year she's a fresher. She's fire man. Eh uh-huh, so who's there? Ah oh, no one. Why? Hey bana that chick is tough as nails man. Ah yeah yeah see my rice. Kwanza she has someone from outside the school and this uh, this guy is driving kwanza. You, your, your college boys what do you have yeah. hey <laughs> so the conversation runs there for a minute me i'm there thinking who is this who is this <laughs> before long who walks from the hostel and goes to pick their food in the dining area one judy nyawera and i saw that babe and immediately i knew like i've said this uh, this before i looked at her and i was like where have i seen you because yeah. i'm sure i've seen you somewhere then it dawned on me ah, you're the mother of my kids <laughs> yes now i know where i've seen you on him to ango you bus yeah so she grabbed her food went back to the hostel the conversation is still ongoing i told guys when i i don't care what you say me i'm giving it a shot yeah they were like that was am chana you so how as like hold my soup <laughs> <laughs> it's happening yeah. oh yeah so stars aligned uh, i was part of the drama club surprisingly she was part of it as well uh, she met a gentleman there by the name abdi a good friend of mine uh, that night it rained because we used to rehearse during the night we go from 8 to like 3 in the morning that's why kmc drama house is the best in the universe it's called the powerhouse so after rehearsal it's raining Uh, we are rehearsing on this other side their side so after rehearsal at 3 we have to walk across the road and go to our hostels the other side of the road uh so my guy abdi is in a t-shirt as guys are okay but him is not so he sees this chick in a pink jumper there and is like yo since you're here already your hostel is just like 17 steps from here so you help me with your pink jumper i'll return it tomorrow and uh, since the baby is uh, a person for Rosafi she's like sour yeah yeah grab my jumper it's okay now that is how i ended up in someone's heart you yeah. <laughs> two days later i find the jumper across and i know it because i saw judy wearing it some two days before I ask abdi hey, yo is this what i think it is he's like yeah <laughs> thank you i'll take it from here immediately yeah. catapulted myself to her hostel yeah. uh, i knocked the door uh, some chicks opened uh, three of them fainted uh, <laughs> i was like okay uh, yeah. yeah i'm looking for uh, for the love of my life i don't know if you've seen her 
Judy was somewhere there. She came out. We went to the, the there are some balconies. Uh, the Uko the, the ladies' hostels, and they overlook. This side overlooks the school. This other side overlooks Mombasa Road. So I looked for you know uh, a romantic spot. Nothing romantic about Mombasa Road. So <laughs> we went to this other side. Yeah. yeah, and we vibed. We vibed. I gave her back the jumper. And I told her, man, me, I'm, I'm feeling your vibe. Takwaje. Yeah. yeah, and uh, before long, we were exchanging saliva, which is, yeah, it's beautiful. I loved it. Yeah, and that's how it started. <laughs> yes, that was in, in 2008. But then what happened to that, Woody? It just disappeared, yeah. Yeah, that's how it started, man. Yeah. Judy, can mm-hmm. you you thought of Abel the first time you even saw him mm. interacted with him? Uh, so I would uh, I would probably pick the first time I interacted with him. Yeah. Which would be uh, no, actually let me pick the other one. The first time I saw him. Because yeah. of course he's a celebrity. Everybody's talking about him. Yeah. But I remember thinking to myself yeah. And I never ever have said this to anybody until now. After mm. I was like, "Hey, no, you kijana ni msupu." But also, other than that, yeah. eh, um, he was a bit. I, I was trying to understand why, with all the craziness yeah. and the buzz around him, he was very quiet. Like he wasn't not quiet. Quiet in terms of he he wasn't talking because he's always. He's always been a talker. <laughs> yeah, but quiet in his demeanor. You know how you would expect somebody who's a celebrity? What when I'm doing? Everybody's talking about you to yeah. to act in yeah. a certain manner. He was very like down to earth. Like just a people's person. Like Nim Tutua Watu, just this Kawaida guy in college. Yeah. I think that yeah, I think that's what I thought the first the first time I saw him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So things happen in stages. So the first time I saw her, I knew, yeah, yeah, that's that's a fine babe right there. Fine. Um now she lost a lot of weight at some at some point, but now she's getting back there. Judy was curvy as hell. Like I'm trying to look for someone in a, in our industry who was same size. Basically, I'm going to be bad. Cut the long story short. Yeah, yeah. And, and she's pretty. She has this this baby face. Like now, she looks like this, and she's 52. You're 53. <laughs> so you can imagine how she used to look when she was 19. Yeah. Oh my God, she she was fine, and that's what attracted me to her. Mr. Kapa ni danganyane ati yo. I saw her heart. Me, I don't walk around with an X-ray. No. <laughs> Me, I saw something I liked and I knew, yes, this is someone I can walk with here, side by side, you know, hand to hand. Yeah. So that was the first thing. Yeah. But now after a couple of days, as I got to know her, yeah. I discovered this is exactly the chick I want in my life. You know yeah. why? During that time in 2008, I was already a big star. I was on a show called Tahidi High. Yeah. Tahidi High was the Game of Thrones of those times. Yeah. It was massive. Like, we went to... A town in, uh, hey man, no Ireland, Lokichogio. It came to a standstill. That's how big Tahiti High was. Yeah. So I was almost certain if there's one thing that was going to be a hurdle for me was getting someone genuine because everybody wanted me not for who I was but for what I was. So I discovered Judy had no idea who I was. They had no TV. They, she never saw an episode of Tahidi High in her life. So to her, I was just, you know, a kawaida human being. And I knew this is it. That is exactly who I want to be with. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know whether I'm still on the train of thought. What, what was your question? What uh, did you think of My wife. The other than that, uh, she's just a, a, a fine human being in terms of personality. She has a heart for people. She's very hardworking. She's a person you want on your team. And that is very evident because after she came to, you know, manage me in 
from when I started in 2020. Oh my God, the, we have grown in leaps and bounds. Yeah, so she's really a team player. She's someone you want by your side. <laughs> you want eh? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. you catapult immediately. What do you think initially attracted you? Hmm. If you are being very honest, I think the reason I agreed to that kiss was the fact that he is a lamb. <laughs> That should Another be the fact. Year to year. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. like the fact that because I mean, I am from the village. Like yeah. I was coming from the village. Okay, by village I mean uh, some place in Kirinyaga County, a small village actually called Kiferigui. So I was coming from the village, and uh, there are all these cool girls mm. from Nairobi, from Mombasa. I don't know from where. Mm. So I was like, why is he kissing me and not kissing these other ones? Yeah. These girls are way prettier, they're way cooler, they're way, you know, all these things. So anyway, um, what was the question again? You see what how you I think, got Nini? What do you think initially attracted Yeah, I think for me, I would say it's his character. Okay. And especially, I, would, I think it's just me repeating the, uh, the answer I gave in the previous question. Yeah. I think for me is his character. And the fact that he was a very he was a very cool guy. Like cool Hana Maninomingi. He's friendly with almost everybody. Also, people really liked him in college and everybody had nothing but good things to say about him. So his character was a big one for me. I think I would say that he's the thing that made made me want to be want to know this guy a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yes, yes, and and she mentioned it. Yeah. That was in 2009, April, man, when we discovered we were about to be parents. Yeah. I was 22. What cast was Wow, 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 wow. So check this. Uh, in 2009, I was in my second year of Tidy High. Again, that show was massive. Um. I'd started uh, working as a crew as well. I think I was um, I was a camera assistant on on set. So I, I, was, I wasn't making much, but for someone my age at the time, because I was I was 22, hoping to turn 23 in a couple of months, I was doing pretty okay. But I was doing pretty okay for a single boy, not for a you know, soon to be father. So just getting to know that we were expecting, oh my God, oh man, it was a myriad of emotions, man. So first of all, it dawns on you that this is not a, a one-time thing. This, this is lifetime. Like this is your flesh and blood for the rest of your life. Oh my God, it was insane. But I knew for a fact She's not going to do it by herself. I, I was certain, come rain, come sunshine, we are raising this baby together. I had seen people, you know, run away from their kids. My own dad at, at some point was like, Ay, adios muchachos, guys, peace. I'm out. Yeah. I was not cut out for this. Yeah, so I wanted to break that. Yeah, I couldn't imagine, you know, having a baby just walking, roaming around somewhere, and I don't know their welfare. I don't know how they are doing. No, that, 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 that wasn't just me. So I think that time we sat down and we discussed and we agreed, you know what, we're, we're in it for the long haul. Let's just, let's just raise this baby, man. Let's raise the baby. And I think from then on, now I started telling people I am married. Yeah, before that, Mama, Kwangwa na kam kufua weekend. But after that, yeah. I knew we were, we were, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. we were in it for the long haul. Yeah. Is there a particular incident in time, mm -hmm. something that may have happened that you knew that you guys were destined to be? <laughs> hey, there is one, yeah. but that one is very embarrassing okay. for him, not for oh. me, <laughs> and I think he knows. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, that's a name. Hey. Do you give me permission? 
you know the story <laughs> um now i would say is um because of course i had mentioned there was somebody else yeah. but of course this the feelings grew over mm-hmm. here yeah. and they were diminishing on the other <laughs> side <laughs> so of course eventually mm-hmm. we chose this other side yeah. but i think i would say like in all honesty mm-hmm. is when we found out uh i was pregnant mm-hmm. or we were pregnant with bombos yeah yeah. Okay. yeah if you could walk us through from the moment we met a brief summary yeah till now Oh. Stephen you are talking about 15 years. It's been 15 years yeah. since we met. Yeah. <coughs> so we met in college 2007. We start dating 2008 okay. around April. Like official official now it's official. Even everybody in school knows now yeah. these ones are together. To yes. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, he he left um uh he left 2009 babe was it 2009 or 2008 2008 yeah, yeah. but the relationship continues because yeah. um i was in i was in kmc until 2010 until end of march 2010 yeah. so when he leaves they move into a house with philip they move into an apartment together with philip in pangani So of course every other weekend I would go and chill with them because yeah. Monday to Friday I'm in school yes. but then over the weekend yeah. I'm with them but then come 2009 2009 around April that's when we found out we were pregnant mm-hmm. yes <laughs> and uh, things of course had to change yeah. a lot had to change but i was um lucky enough to be able to continue with school yeah. until i gave birth yeah. which i did in uh, uh january 2010 that's when mumbus was born yeah. but now towards uh, the end of t- 2009 uh in november that is when i moved in officially like i moved in like yeah. yes because it was the final in kmc the were terms that took away fika semesters <laughs> got to school terms yeah. yes i remember it was end of end of term in november mm-hmm. and we were closing for the holidays and that is when now i officially because yeah. then i was eight months pregnant yeah. like my due date was in the queen of caribia and that was the, now when things were official 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 like sasa wewe nyumbani ni hapa you're no longer going to kifiregui yeah. <clears throat> yeah and they move in together and the baby comes in um, january of 2010 and um i finish my because i went back to school even after Mum, two weeks after mumbus was born i had to go back to school and uh, to uh, finish my projects and then uh now i go i go back to pangani by this time philip had moved out because yeah. of course after the baby came philip mm-hmm. had to but he just moved next next <laughs> like hapa <laughs> too yeah. yeah so um mumbus comes and um Uh, I get a job at KBC mm-hmm. but then because you remember two weeks after I had given birth I had to go back to school to finish my projects I felt like I let me go back home I think this at this particular time I'm mm-hmm. supposed to be home with Mombo so what you need to do and then maybe later towards the end of that year ndo nianza kutafuta kazi so I so this time now we are like husband and wife yeah. pretty much sort of married not legally but yeah. Now life has started ninyi yeah. mko pamoja leni mtoto then we um get my first job towards the end of uh 2010 November uh filming a movie I was part of the crew for Nairobi Half Life so we do that and then now my career starts and nikazi tu I yeah. would say it was just work and work and work because remember we have a small kid and we are very young I was 22 when I had Mumbus He was 23. Yeah, so we are very two very young people trying yeah. to make this thing work wow. and raise this baby. And it, it was just work 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 until 2007. No. 2015 I'm fast forwarding because yeah. there it's just it's work. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 2015 on a random day we were actually coming we were actually on our way back home from Kitten Fields for dinner. 
and we are driving home and he's like eh, babe now cuz mumbus is big like she's a big girl she was five then yeah and we've been together we've been doing these things for almost seven years it one that was his proposal step that was it <laughs> that was it yes and i drive home and i was like what do you mean yeah like let's 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 make it official like, let's plan a wedding i'm like what he's like yeah then he's like imwaka like this this year like we just do something small and you know yeah. like we'd make this thing official now we move on with our life yeah. and it happened yeah. november of that year <laughs> we had a wedding and it was good 100 people 120 people i think mm-hmm. almost 150 people showed up mm-hmm. it was a very small wedding yeah. our parents were not the happiest but they bid to a gear box yeah. and uh, <clears throat> uh, after the wedding then came work Because it's just I feel like it's just work after yeah, yeah it's just work and work it, the normal yeah. of life which yeah. is just get up in the morning go to work come back home lay a family all those things until because we are all in the same industry but yeah. working very in very different um uh places like yeah. him I was working for a company a different company him he's uh, producing shows for KTN at some point via Protel and then They decide now no now we need to start our own production house fill it yeah. in 2016 and then they start doing their thing so we everybody we are in the same industry but in very in different areas <clears throat> yeah until i resigned in 2018 from the company that i had been working for for almost seven years yeah. and then it happens to be now sasa ni kunyumbani and yeah. we are actually now <laughs> together Um that's when I I I start uh, managing Team Ensele and we work together mm-hmm. until 2021 2020 when Mkurugenzi is born. Yeah. Uh, a random day we are very bored. It's covid. Yeah. Like everybody's home, you're bored. It's, I mean, there's nothing to do. And cuz it was very like the two weeks before the first two weeks of covid. Like alikuwa anatufurahisha kwa nyumba. Like Stephanie and I had our own personal entertainer because it's very good at yeah. storytelling that is not something that just happened yeah. in 2020 he had been doing that for a long time so every time he would watch something or he would read something he would come home and tell us the story yeah. so now two weeks we are everybody is home like there's literally nothing there's no work there's nothing like munalala munamuka munalala muna like tuko nyumbani and um, i remember um, one I don't know what story it was that he was uh, telling us this particular afternoon. And I was like, "No, babe, that everybody's home and during COVID, everybody was on the internet. Yeah. Like everybody was online." Yeah. Uh, I'm like, "See, we, let's go record a story. Like this one of these many stories that you have yeah. for fun because we were bored. Let's just go outside, record something and then we post online just for fun. It was yeah. literally just for fun." And we carry our two stools there was no treble nothing our um, uh, to set up the camera we carried stools and books from the house yeah. and we go record this story and we post on his Instagram and less than 24 hours later he has over 100,000 views and the comments are crazy yeah. and that was the birth of Mkrugenzi and uh, three years later yeah. here we are here we are <laughs> still going strong 15 yeah. actually it's now 15 years later yeah yeah still going strong thank you so much for sharing <laughs> thank you <laughs> ah nice um i think she did a pretty, pretty decent job of learning uh, so i'll take a, a different trajectory kidogo and i'll break that uh, 15 years into three okay. so the first two three years we were finding ourselves we we had a baby we were trying to figure things out i oh my god i think i went into overdrive i was doing 76 jobs at that particular time because man once the baby is here you can't give them excuses uh, you can't be like kai toto makosa ni yangu leo acha tulalenja lakini kesho 
You know, you can't, a Kesho can cheat, can die, I promise. You can't, you can't tell your baby that. So me, I went into overdrive. I was scripting. I was doing camera work. I was acting on the show. It was insane. So the first three years, was, it was chaos. Then the next five years, we were separated. Uh, guys are looking at me like, no, what? I don't mean that. She, she got a job uh, with some organization called Media, Media, Media Limited. It's called Media Limited or Media Productions? Media Company. Media Company. They used to do shows like Makutano Junction, Shamba Shape Up. And she rose to the rank, through the ranks and she became uh, one of the producers for Shamba Shape Up. Now, Shamba Shape Up is about farming. It, there is no farm in Kariobangi. You have to travel and look for those farms. Eventually, the thing became regional. So they had to travel to other East African countries to do their thing. So in those five years, from 2013 to 2018, I can literally count the days I saw my wife. We were separated for five years. Then from 2018 to date is when now we were reunited, when she left uh, media and she started managing me. Actually, I think it was very weird for us because now when she started managing me, we were traveling together, going for meetings together, and it felt weird that I couldn't remember the last time we were together in the car going somewhere for almost eight years. Yeah, it was a breath of fresh air. Yeah. I feel like I've known my wife more in the last five years than... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Yeah. So that's how I'd... Uh, uh, whatever them. Yeah. yeah. But it's been a beautiful ride. Uh, now she doesn't only play the role of my wife and the mother of my baby. She, she's my manager, she's my true north, like where I am headed as a person, where we are headed as a family, she has a huge role to play. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Stefa, <laughs> 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 Thank Like okay, she started started. last time, I can start yes. now. All right. Yeah. Start. Uh -huh. So, yeah. alright. <laughs> um, so, this is a question I am asking her. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, give me 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> Small money. So, mm -hmm. If you could change one thing about the way you were raised, mm. what would it be and why? Hmm. <laughs> if I could change one thing mm. about the way you were raised, I would say is uh, probably um, something I wish mm. more than. I would want to change mm. and that would be um, I wish uh, my parents had given me a bit more info were a bit mm. uh, more free with me when it came to the conversation of uh, money ah. yes because you know how we were brought up we were brought up don't you know the conversation about mm -hmm. money was almost uh, like a taboo, taboo. yeah so I think because mm, yeah. you're learning about money when hey. mm -hmm. but you're doing a good job with your offspring. Yes, that yes. is why I am very intentional. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Why do you think mm -hmm. <laughs> your past relationships didn't work out? Man, Mimi, I am a darling. <laughs> yani Mimi, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Fuck, let me shock Kenyans. Do you know I have been in two relationships? Yeah. Two. Kabisa, that's true. 
and we were so mature despite the fact that we were very young yeah. to just sit together mm-hmm. at a table like this and we decided i think uh, it's time to end yeah. we were not at the angry mm. we were not like, like just you know how when you grow you take different paths yeah. and things stop working mm. but it doesn't mean that you your enemies yeah. no your good friends ni vile tu mechukua different trajectories and we decided you know what adios muchachos man it's been real yeah. yeah i have had that story before mm. <laughs> what was her name so milka cool. yes milka yeah. yes and it's so stephanie allah yeah <laughs> Alikoshule <laughs> yako <laughs> but zamani enzi zetu. Enzi zetu. Awesome. Mm. It's your turn. Oh, sorry. Mm. If you could go back to when we first started dating, what advice would you give yourself? Hmm. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> what advice would I give myself? Mm. I would tell myself yeah to always remember mm. to be my own source of joy uh-huh. and happiness kabisa that's beautiful hiyo <laughs> napenda hiyo good hiyo good yeah taka kuambia hiyo ulisoma wapi well tukianza ku elaborate tutaongea for the next one yeah, yeah it's true Yeah. Yeah. Guys be your own, you know, source of happiness. Don't expect it from your spouse or your friends or you. Most people out here are living for other people. That's true. Yeah, that's that's a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Uh is there anything in our relationship mm. that scares you? Hey, 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 hey yes. Mhm. The the future. Why? Because I I feel like I am not prepared to handle the billionaire status. <laughs> It scares me greatly, man. Guy, at this update, no, I told you I needed the chopper today. Now you are. Uh you hire one at Wilson. Uh, me I'm using it. Anyhow. <laughs> It's it's oh my god, it's scary. That. Yes, it's in Jesus scary. name. Amen. Amen. Kabisa, man. Hi, oh, it's me. Mm. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you consider my greatest attribute? And what is my greatest weakness? Ni nini nimeweka uzito na ni nini niko chini? Hey, your greatest attribute? Mm. I would say is um your people skills. Uh, Hey, people skills are just on another level. <laughs> like Abel will sit down with a president and they will have a conversation. He will sit down with a mamamboga and they will have a conversation. Good. Your people skills are just on another level. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Your weakness? Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my he. Kusahau. Aki. Aki guy. Hey, my 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 my. Hey. Abel forget ah, a God lot. Damn. Like he but so squeeze ni kwa fadhali kidogo. Hey. Kidogo. Just a little. <laughs> you're trying. I'm trying. You're trying. Eh? Yes. You your greatest attributes is your management skills. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> how do you remember 150 things? <laughs> Bebo meweka caption. Ah, oh, mumbu Uh, the, the email did we okay that's okay flow where's the nini ah because how, you, uh, how do you remember 217 things me I, I, by the way ile siku mtaniachie hiyo nyumba ati manage this house for a week mta fry tusarudi nyumbani yes. uh-huh. your weakness is uh, sometimes patience kidogo yeah, yeah. that's true hey, patience <laughs> Yeah. But you see we complement each other. That's true. Because yeah. where you lack patience, mm. I come in with my people skills. Yeah. Where I lack the organization, I come in. You come in. Yes. Yeah. We're a <laughs> couple, man. Oh, is it me or you? Um, it's me. It's it's yeah, you. It's, it's you. Okay, yeah. okay. 
do you feel like I take too much control mm. in our relationship or do you wish I would be more assertive? Do you think, mm. do you feel like I take too much control mm. in our relationship mm. or do you think, mm. do you wish I would be, be more assertive? Mm. The way it is, <laughs> Up, up. It's a good balance. If it's working, why change it? <laughs> Maintain it's a good balance. It's a, yeah. you, you feel like you need to be. Uh, no, 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 mm. no. I honestly feel like it's a good balance. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We we are serious when it, you know. It needs to be serious, isn't and it? we wing it when we feel it. like you know it's not life and death. <laughs> let's wing it. Yeah. yeah, and that's the beauty of it. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It's a good balance. By the any time, do you know? And uh, this will shock many people, but rules are there to govern people. Mm. But people do not do very well with rules. Mm. I'll give you an example. Back in high school, we had a water shortage. Del someo kambani. So it got to a point the school did not have water at all. Mm. So they opened the gates. They were like, you know what, guys. You go look for water, Malim mm. Taipata. Yeah. Do you know, during that period, the cases of sneaking out mm. reduced by, I think, 90%. Yeah. Because now you have the freedom. Mm. Ah, so, as I end, I think, ah, you're funny, Meisha. Mm. But before that, guys were sneaking out every night without fail. Yeah. Like people had families. Mm. Unenda uko kwa bau na chota dem na shigina kwa hostel. Yeah. <laughs> Aya. In high school. In high school. I'm telling. Yeah. Chief. It was <laughs> crazy during our days. But that I remember it was a certain second term. Mm. Everybody was in school. Akuna mtu wana hepa. Because you know. Yeah. So it's the same in life. Like mkiu a place where it's just. Uh, 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 no. But now we are not in the force. <laughs> <laughs> this is to cook ganjo. Yeah. No. Yeah, so good to balance. Some. Good balance. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How well do you think we handle conflict in our relationship? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I would say we're yeah. both very um, non-confrontational. Yes. Let me talk about you. And the reaction. Like yeah. yeah. So the way we handle conflict yes. is by trying as much as possible to just stay away. Yeah. <laughs> from yeah. conflicts. Yeah. But when they are there cuz they will all day. Yeah. They are there yeah. sometimes. Yeah. yeah, it's impossible to Yeah. live life without conflict. Mm. Um we talk it out. Yeah. Sindio? Yeah, really yeah by the way I do it for myself. I'll yeah. speak for myself. Yeah. Ukifanya kitu ni kasiriki. Yes. Me I usually need time. Uh, like you need to give me time. Like two days or maybe a day to just go and calm down and yes. then now I come and we have a conversation. Yes. For you, yeah. however, yeah. sometimes when I hapo, hapo, yeah, let's deal with it now, 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 now. I start to after the next 20 minutes. <laughs> I know, I know, it's a, it's yeah. a way. But we, yeah, we but you always find a way. Yeah. You always find a mm. way, yeah. But yeah. you always uh, work through our conflicts yeah. by having conversations. Our conflicts are boring, guys. <laughs> Hakuna <laughs> once in a while awe paka wewe other people's conflicts are like guy where's the popcorn oh my god ame muita kisigino can yeah. i sip this uh, cappuccino ay 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 ah it's your turn it's me me cool ah ni mimi si no umetuliza your conflict eh so ni mimi kweli haya Oh, what was the moment? Uh, what was the moment that you knew you were in love with me? Ah. <laughs> so kuna ile infatuation kabisa man, mm. like the first time I saw you uh, oh man. <laughs> mm, it, it was I I remember that feeling to date. Yeah. That was the first time I saw mm. you. So I don't know whether that was love or that was just infatuation. Mm. But after spending time with you and I got to know the kind of person that you are. Yeah. And you're just gentle. Mm. Me sipendi watu very aggressive sana. Si ati siwapendi but I, I don't think we would get along. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> so you were you were everything I was looking for. Mm. So 
first time I saw you, I was boxed immediately. Yeah, but after, <laughs> you know, next three, four meetings, I, I knew for a fact, yeah, she's, you are the one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me I would say I knew that I was in love with you. Yeah. Even when we were like the um, one year we were together before Mumbos yeah. happened. Yeah. But for sure for sure I knew. Ay ye 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 ye. Uyu amenifunga pingu za maisha. Yes. Was after the day we found out you were pregnant. Uh, Do you remember that conversation? Do you remember what you told me? Uh, it was something in the lines of, uh, uh, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. You said you were here for good. Uh, 15 years later, you're still here. Can be, sir. Mm. <laughs> 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 Stephanie, you could be my choice, my choice. Mm. Uh, uh-huh. I mean, imagine, it's you. I could have done high school. Next imagine. Year. Ah, mm-hmm. My friends are now like this. <laughs> <laughs> In their thirties. Ah, I think they could balini makosa ifanyike. Mapema, mapema, mapema. mapema. That's true. Mm. <laughs> Has your parents' relationship affected our own marriage? If so, how? I don't feel like it has. Yeah. Because it has just been mom mm. for me. Yeah. Because dad was way gone mm. when we met. Mm. And it, it has just been dad for a long time for yeah. you. Because yeah, mom was just there for a bit. Ma, you experienced mom, I think, twice. Yeah. I think mom was around for like two years before. No. We met in 2008. Oh, she, she was died like, in 2009. Yeah, for like a year and ah, maybe a few months. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like our parents, like the ones who are left now, mm, <laughs> have mm. been so good to us. Mm. I don't feel like Mm-mm. there has been any effects. Yeah. None at all. Mm. Is it weird? Because I know parenting informs a lot yeah. when it comes to how people handle marriages. Mm. Ama, ama we weren't keen because they maybe left when we were young. Maybe not very keen. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's weird because I know most people mm. uh, are affected by how they were raised. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, and especially they're, they're, um, their interpretation of what love is in yes, a marriage yes, set up. Yeah. And they compare to what, mm, how mm, their parents' marriage used yeah. to be. The thing that has um, been affected is how we raise our, our mm-hmm. girls. Yes, yeah, yeah. that one for sure. Yeah. Yes. The way they raised us mm-hmm. and the way we are raising her, mm. the world's apart. Yes. Yeah. No, there, there are some things that are very standard. Hey, hey, <laughs> like sometimes... Vita. Hey. <laughs> 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 yeah? <laughs> yeah? Because sometimes, by the, especially oh. when Mumbus has uh, done something wrong, hey. like the way I react, <laughs> I can remember my mother 100%. reacting in yeah, the yeah. same exact way. Yeah. And sh- not sure. Sh- okay, we don't yeah. shout as much in mm, our house, mm. but as in whatever words mm. I would use mm. to tell off Mumbus. Yeah. Aki, 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 this is my mother talking in my head. Yeah, but the yes. frequency is lower. The frequency is like our parents much, would, much would, lower. Would shout at us like every day of the week. Yeah. Uh, for CC, it's uh, okay. Mm. Oh, wait, it's, it's you. Is it me or is it you? No, it's me actually. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <coughs> oh, what's one positive change mm. that our marriage has had on, on you? One positive change mm. that our marriage has had on me. Mm. Uh, the simple fact mm. that indeed a marriage can work. Yeah, yeah? that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, agree like a hundred percent. Oh my God. Yeah, because yeah. me where I came from, mm. my dad has been through two marriages. Mm. Um Although this last one, uh, they were separated by death. Yeah. Actually, for him, both times. Ah, she lost. Okay, okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, my parents. But most people I know, mm. uh, they've been through hurdles. Yeah. Yeah, it's been... Uh, 
Nowadays, you, you clap for someone when you hear they are past the 10-year mark. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's my, true. It's, it's so rare. Yeah. Mm. So for us to be still here 15 years down the line. Imagine. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> 50 more to come. 50 to more to come. So 50 years from now, I'll be what? 87. Mm. So after 87, I can see other people. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, you can try. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> And we'll see. Tema tauna nguvu, meno azimeisha. Nani amesema? How will you exchange saliva? Ah, hata nianzane na mkombe rosa hii nikiwa 36, Yeah, but that's a good one. Yeah, that's marriage indeed does work. And especially for our generation. Yes. Yeah. Hey, it's The story out there is quite different. Yeah. I feel like these cards are inverted. Don't turn as you are What is a very ordinary thing that just really turns you on? <laughs> Stephanie, where are you? Are you above 80? Turns, hey. turns, turns me on uh, in regards to you. Uh, uh, See yeah, you? yeah, a very ordinary thing. Oh my God, you know what it is? Mm-mm. Those days when we are not very busy, yeah. and those days we find ourselves in the house. Yeah. Like, kuna kazi we just at home. Mm. And we are literally sitting in silence. Yeah. You watching your stuff on your documentaries, on your laptop. Yes. Me watching my stuff on TV or on my phone. Yeah. And you're just seated in silence. Yeah. But, ukiamka, yeah. usema unenda kwa chona, kuliza unenda. And I realize it's the same for, because yeah. even if I, like you're very busy even with your head, yeah. but the minute I get out, out of the, as in yeah. up from the seat, yeah. and I'm even going to the kitchen to get yeah. what you're like, yeah. 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 <laughs> It's true. Yeah. Oh, so, oh my God. The fact that we can just sit and not talk, yeah. but we know that we're enjoying each other's company. company yeah. It's true. That is quite something. Ah. That is quite a turn on. Ah. <laughs> ah, sasa mimi aki ai watu wangu wa HR Ross niangalie vibaya. <laughs> Should I sip my cappuccino? Yes. <laughs> But any time you in those official things that you wear, those to dress to akwenda to meetings. Ah, really? Come on. Unio nani huyo? those ones and those two heels it's because you know every time i'm in that dress hey. Hey. <laughs> there's a deal that's about to go down ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that 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 mm. just does it for me man really yeah. that is so weird But so jana ni kuja home kasikia eh ngashindo ani ndio bitu richie amekuwa akiona hii since the whole day hey richard and jao hey <laughs> ah, yeah. but yeah. also it's it's cause I can count the number of times you're in those. Yeah, uh, yeah. sneakers and in for life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> jeans. Life. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Ni mimi ni ni mimi. Oh, no, XP. Yeah. XP actually. Yeah. <clears throat> Gai, kitu sisha fika 2 hours. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, do you feel like both our dreams mm. are important or do you think one of us gets mm. priority of time and finances mm. for their dream? If so, mm. is that okay for this season or does something need to change? I don't know if I got that question correctly, but our dreams are so aligned. Yeah. In so, so aligned. many ways. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which begs the question. Mm. Kwani hatuna individual dreams? I, I feel like our individual dreams yeah. became absorbed. Ah. Quite easy. So, we are accomplishing both yeah. individual and uh, and couple dreams. Ah. But I mean, I'm trying to So what are my dreams? <laughs> I tell you one of your dreams. Yes. Okay that is yet to as in for the future yeah. is like how you want to go and uh, do aviation. Oh. Yeah, but you see now for that particular dream yeah. we are both okay. working okay, okay, towards achieving it. Yeah. So yeah. if you like hakuna sisi siku dreams zetu zinakuanga. Uh, yeah. So if it's your dream okay. like we're gonna we, we are both working, working towards, towards, towards it. Yeah. So if I have a dream yeah. 
then we are both working like mm. you're helping me mm. achieve that dream okay yeah. okay okay so we put all our dreams into one box <laughs> yes so we are ticking those nenis mm. one at a time okay yeah. actually i think that that's a model there that works mm. yeah, it makes it easier so nobody is chasing their own dreams uh, at any point yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. okay mm. So that's like can I, I tell you something yeah. like a good example mm. maybe to bring it home yeah. would be the day I decided to start my youtube channel yes <laughs> I was there wondering, hey, yeah, yeah, consistency, how do you start? Content, yeah, 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 but true. you've been very instrumental mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in that journey. Oh, yes. So that was a dream of mine because okay. it wasn't your dream. Yes. That was my dream. Yeah, but we worked towards it together. Yes. Okay. Oh, so, so. <laughs> Is it yours or mine? It's you. It's my turn. Yes. Right. <clears throat> If you could change one thing about the way you were raised, what would it be? Oh, so, because I... I asked. That was the first question actually. Yeah, that was the yeah. very first. It's okay. a repeat card. Eh? All right. <laughs> Another one. Mm-hmm. What did you enjoy doing as a kid that is no longer part of your life? Oh my god. Do fumpara ro. Aya, ona kinyeji. Oh lord. Oh my god. I honestly believe yeah. I had the best childhood. Yeah. Maybe ninyo atoto wa Nairobi. Mm. Sisi watoto shago. Ai ye ye ye. Let me tell you. Yeah. My life and mm. especially after school now. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe a typical day when we were on holiday mm. would be to wake up in the morning. Yeah. Sometimes I would go if it's coffee season, I would go help Shosho. Mm. Actually it's funny that I never went to help my parents. Me I was always with my grandma mm. and my grandpa. But it's mm. because they would pay me with mandazi and yeah. chai when we get to the factory. Yeah. Was Zakahawa. Uh-huh. And that was not labor. Yeah. No something I truly used to enjoy. Uh-huh. So it was either that yes. ama we are playing football <coughs> with the kids from Good. the neighborhood yeah. ama we've all decided to help our home because yeah. my mother would kill me if I ever said naenda kwa river au yeah. chini. Yeah. Ku, ku swim uh-huh. or ex- one of those random days we decided just after lunch yeah. msiseme kunye mnaenda. Yeah. Carry your soap. We used to carry soap. I wonder why they keep on the soap. Because it was both lotion yes. and soap. And soap, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we would go do fumpara ro proper uko kwa rive and then we go back home. Yeah, I honestly feel like I had I, So let me shock you. Yeah. Those, everything you've mentioned we did in Nairobi. Mm. Mm-hmm. Do fumpara ro was there. Mm. We went for adventure. Mm. Mommy go. So mommy go mm-hmm. was um So sugar can used to grow while they uko in uh, Dandora mm. nini. So some mothers just decided you know what since nobody owns the plantations yeah. we will own them. Okay. So they used to come there with the pangas to cultivate nini but since us guys knew these ones don't belong to anyone we used to go there and chafu ambaya like those those the sugar canes. Mm. Hence the word mommy go from the word mamiwa. Oh. Yeah, so you'd kung fu a whole sugar cane, it vunjikas, you pick it, you chew it as you're walking. Mm. But so, so, hey, those mothers used to kimbiza us with pangas. <laughs> yeah, so we did <laughs> we did mommy go, we yeah. did uh, the fompara row, we played football. Yeah, and just like you I, I was very heavy in, in terms of sport when mm. I was when I was a kid. But I don't know what happened. Oh, mm. I think the shift came. Mm-hmm when when i joined drama oh yeah because yeah. what yeah. used to happen is uh, guys for sports used to go for sports guys mm. for drama you couldn't do both because they happened at the same time yeah yeah so that's where my sporting capabilities mm. i was a badass in football they used to call me papa lefty <laughs> my left was bad news man <laughs> bad news <laughs> ah yeah hey that's it Yeah, the things we used to do. I think mm. that's why because you know you adults mm-hmm. it's just yeah. too much responsibility, I man. Do you guys have Murugoto? What's Murugoto? Ah, Murugoto is now when you go scavenging for things that people have thrown. Oh, you told me that story. Yes. Hey, but that is not. So now we discovered Oh, no one at Tumbo. Ah, Tumbo for who? Hey. We discovered KQ's dumping site hey. where they they throw the food that has barely been touched. Mm. Ah. Let me tell you bana in Islands tulikuwa tunakula fiti kuliko watu wengi Mathaiga. 
Juliko pale um, this is a croissant. Yani croissant. <laughs> Chief, yeah. you are eating things you can't pronounce. Oh, sijui mtu ametupa biryani untouched. Mm. Yeah, it was those are good days. Oh wow. Mm, if you're lucky enough you'd find them still warm. What? Mm. Mm, bro go to. Dump site. Dump site. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, but we, honestly my childhood was the best. Ah. The games you used to play were just kabisa. Yeah, yeah. Three to go. If you could go back to when we first we first started dating, mm. what advice would you give yourself? Aha. It's the same question but now to you. Mm, when we started dating. <laughs> yes, what advice would you give yourself? Mm. Aya. Okay. <laughs> Why am I blank? <laughs> 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 ah. Mm-hmm. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Remember the way we were stressed. Mm. Manze ndio tumeanza tu ku date hivi kidogo kidogo ndio we are kuchia. pregnant. Yeah. Kumbe maze God had a plan. Yeah. And I'm not telling guys to go messing around. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know whatever happens. Yeah. There's, there's a there's, there's a, a reason plan. for it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, kabisa kabisa. Oh my god, that's true. It's not the end of life. Yeah. It is not the end of life. Mm. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing myself. That's a good one. Yeah. It's your turn. It's my turn. I have two to go. What food or drink most evokes a feeling of home for you? Ah, this one. Ah, ugali. Yes. Ugali greens nyama. Kabisa. Sasa aribu. Every day all day. Aribu weke mala hapo. Ah. Yes. Ah. Yeah. Man. And it's baby, that one is really for both of us. Like <laughs> you said all day every day. Yo every yeah. day. Mm. I can survive on that. Every day. Ni vile sijai jaribu but I know You know yes. you think you like chicken until you eat chicken three times a row in mm, a row. Like That's when you discover eh hey, ah uh-uh, it's not for me. But ugali sukuma nyama na mala. Yeah. Haya. Hmm? It's me, right? Yeah. <coughs> Is there a purchase you made that you regret? <laughs> K A E 398 E. Mercedes Benz E200 W124 I've never forgotten. Ay ay ay. Yeah. 2011 to 2012 was just me throwing money inside a pit. Yeah, that one I regret to date. But should we say everything happens for a reason? Yes. yes. <laughs> Totally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was a good car. It, it was, served as well yeah, for the few months. That we were, <laughs> actually it was a good car. It was a good car. The problem started when we Yeah, the funny mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. That guy. <laughs> okay. Mhm. Mm. It's mm. your turn. Mm. Mm. What's a song that reminds you mm-hmm. of our relationship? This <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, hmm? which one is that? What was it called remember? Temptations by P Square? Hmm. Ah, guys, I will take out my phone. <laughs> you Google. Because uh, which one is that? Tuliene uh, tuivo. In fact, don't go anywhere. Yes, Jesus, I know just going to. Eh, to go you to buy. Na guzi cha 2 seconds. 3 <laughs> seconds. 3 seconds. Eh Which one is that? Uta 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 skia tu. Mm. Hii utaskia tu. Oops, sorry, sorry guys. <laughs> That's an ad. Oh, hii ni skip ad. Ah, no. Skip ad. Ah. Eh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes. Oh. That Even one. Yes. In college. In fact, I had assigned this ringtone mm-hmm. 
to you ah uki nikisikia nikiwa tu mahali oh 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 yeah yeah everything stops wacha eh but uko kwa surgery wacha ambia daktari ya take 5 oh yeah that's true that's true wa hiyo ilikuwa yangu na hata nimesikia wanashinda i remember i had a red samsung flip yeah mm ilikuwa actually two people had assigned ringtones ilikuwa wewe I think one of my sisters mm. ilikuwa brick and lace alikuwa anapenda hiyo brick and lace <laughs> <laughs> eh hiyo song ilikuwa inaitwaje hiyo love is weekend yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. god our age is showing <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah. oh that's yes, a good one yeah. yo that one you remembered on my behalf thank okay. you yeah. mm. you done eh yeah, mbaksha moja oh, let me give you one okay haya When you remember who I was on our wedding day mm. how have I changed since then like I, I said when the show was starting mm. I think I've come to know you properly mm. after the wedding <laughs> <laughs> Yeah hey, that's huko yeah, 2018 huko mm. Yeah because I think we spent so little time together mm. After the wedding is when I came to discover Okay, so she's ah oh, okay so this okay mm. yeah i feel like before that i was aloof siko na joani inaendelea really naona ga hivyo naona ga nika siko na nimekusoma yeah that was so much word over time yes. we were very young yeah we were mm. oh we were oh my god so yeah. we are middle aged guy like we're not even youth no like at at we see to youth Z. we are middle aged eh. <laughs> Sasa uko kapiga blanda hivyo ndio utasoma kwa news. Okay, a, a middle aged woman. Karatini. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, let me me. Mm. If you could apologize to one person from your past, who would it be and why? From my past. Mm. I would apologize to myself. Ah, oh, umejikosea sana. <laughs> yeah, mm. for not believing in myself. Mm. early enough yeah for not believing in my own potential mm-hmm. yes ah, that's... does that make sense mm-hmm. yeah. it does eh sa you as is deep niko hapo mazena shindwa ah sema yako si lazima ikwe deep babe sema what do you want to say yangu ni utoto so <coughs> two people mm. abraham nyamboki <laughs> when we were 13 years i I I I I I borrowed you a tape of uh... Okay kids there's something Hey hey where do we even start <laughs> So in the beginning before CDs there was something called a cassette tape mm. Those things were a big deal when we were young So when I was 13 Abraham Nyamboki had a cassette tape for Eminem The mm-hmm. album was uh, Eminem the Marshall Mothers LF mm. it was a masterpiece I don't know what was wrong with our radio but our radio just chewed up the thing mm. <laughs> and spoiled the tape kabisa permanently yeah. Yeah. So I threw it I think I burnt it and I just disappeared Nyamboke mm-hmm. alinitafuta haki I should have just confronted him nimwambie niaje mtu wangu makosa ilifanyika Yeah okay I'm sorry Then oh. number two, mm-hmm. when I was a naughty boy in um, in high school mm. uh, there was a chick in some girl school in in Kitui mm. and I was feeling her vibe so since I had <laughs> another one in Limuru hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and I was broke as hell mm. when this one from Limuru sent me a text um mail mm. you know us guys used to have snail yes. mail we naka wiki tatu mm. before you kufikia mm. So for you to be able to send mail you had to purchase stamps. Mm. Stamps were 21 shillings. Do you know 21 shillings was a whole loaf of bread. Mm. <laughs> Natoa wap. 21 shillings? Yeah. So when my uh, um, poor from uh, Limuru, Limuru yeah. sent me a letter. I rubbed the stamp uh. with Colgate. Mm. And I text, I wrote to my other one in, in Kitui mm. using that that stamp. Mm. Kumbe those poster guys are not idiots. Mm. They no. they were able to tell. Mm. 
Do you know what happens when they discover that you've used a forged stamp? Yeah. The, the person receiving the yes. letter has to pay three times. Yes. So she was chuffed with 63 shillings. Yeah. <laughs> I am sorry Priscilla. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so here's the thing that was mm. that 20 th- um, 20 years ago. Mm. Eh, hey, we are old. Tumezeka. 20 years ago I was uh, footing stamps. Mm. Eh. Hey. <laughs> 20 years ago look up Steph. I don't know what I said. Steph, I was just talking to Okay, what are some things yeah. you miss about being single? Hey, hey. I was single for like 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> What do I miss? Oh no. Hey, actually I was single for quite a while. You were single for a very long time. Yes. Mm. Almost three years. Mm. Ah, okay. So I was single when I was in college. Mm. Ah. Until I came along. Yes. <laughs> so what what do I miss? I wish mm. I was single when I was a bit you know, older. Much older. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I feel the same. Way. Yeah, yeah, cuz college Wait. when uh, college you're thinking about what now? Nonsense mm. too. Cuz me I don't remember actually being like as in the phase that I would say I was single. Mm. I was still in a child. Like mm. in high school, mm. usually. Yeah. You don't have money or bro. Yeah, Things you don't there's nothing. <laughs> 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 yeah so i don't think so, there's anything i would say yeah, that is about being single me too. i think single is fun when you're a bit older, older hey. and you have money hey. like you've already started working you're so probably you. living in your own house because single na unaishi na mzazi you are not single you are you are being rare don't fool kama kuku are over. Uh, oh, they're over. Mm-hmm. Oh, so do I make you a better person or do you feel like I sometimes hold you back from reaching your potential? Oh my god, you make me the best person. Not uh, a better person. The best. The best person. Tag team. <laughs> However you have played a role yeah. in my life. Mm-hmm. Hey, saying you are happy aki. Okay. Ebu imagine, ebu have you ever tried to think mm-hmm. if life has had not happened the way it did yeah like we had not met yes. so there's definitely no mumbos yeah ungekuwa happy size probably ningekuwa maybe kwa relationship yangu ya kama 14 hapo kimeni umania mbaya probably i'd be childless mm. uh ningekuwa tu mkimtu tu yeah So Mimi the, the way, when I think about it yeah. I see myself in two ways. Mm. One is I would probably be a mother of three or four children. Guy yeah. by now. Maze. Yes. Or I would be single. Mbaya. But doing very well ah, like in life yeah. like in terms of career. Yeah. 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 I feel I would probably have gone the other direction. Yeah. Cuz you know I'm from Ushagu, you know, Ushagu, mm. kawaida, and this is actually from what I've observed mm. from like when I go home mm. and meet with the people that I grew up with. Mm. So the ones who did not come to Nairobi and advance in career and what not. Yeah. yeah, they have four children. Yeah. Standard. Yeah. Because you see you're not doing much so mm. see usiku ni shughuli ni moja. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> that was so that was really good. Mm. Steph is almost well is about to sound. Wezi ko to be. Eh, jo. Manze, mpeleka mbali. Ah, mpeleka mbali. Acha hata sasa nimpeleke tukakunywe supu. Atujamaliza. Oh. Umeniandikia love letter wewe? Kujaniandikia love letter. Au. So tunaandikia na sasa love letter. Me actually I want to freestyle. Okay. I think Sama. it's better when you speak from the heart. So please, please mpeleke na mtara tara. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we have finally moved to the last bit of our Yeah. Usually come for us. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, me, I would prefer to to um, say it from my heart. Mm. Yeah, ni kwa mejaribu kuandika kwa simu. Kwa pale, then I felt no. True. Yeah. Okay. Haya. Sasa ni kiti mimi Um Abel Mutua. Yes. My husband. My love. Bebez. Um this year we are actually we're ready it's just that there was no event but we um, marked 15 years in april mm. yes of this year well, well. yes yeah. <laughs> and actually when um steph reached out for this particular shoot mm. and of course she had to share what the shoot is about mm. This particular segment, this one of the love letter, ndio ilifanya nikaka chini, nikaanza kufikiria wait. Exactly 15 years later. Oh my god, we've come from so far. And we've done so much, like we've achieved so many things together. And honestly, mine is so short. I just want to tell you. On the on in the year 2010 It was in April. I can't remember the date. But when we did the pregnancy test. 2009. 2009. Yes, thank you. It was in 2000 <laughs> and then but it was in April. Yes. Yeah. When we did our uh, the pregnancy test, mm. when I lied to my mother that mm. I had to come to Nairobi to look for a hostel for my attachment, mm. but I was coming because I knew hapa kimeniramba. <laughs> Yeah, and the day I arrived and we did the pregnancy test, mm. it turned out positive. There's something you said mm. on that day. And the words were whatever your decision, mm. just know that I am here mm. for good. You didn't even say I am here to stay. Mm. You said I am here for good. And 15 years later, mm. babe, you're still here. Like you're still here. <laughs> yeah. Holding me down, holding us down. Thank you for being the best dad mm. to Mumbos. Thank you for being the best husband. Thank you for being the best friend because I believe um I have a combination of all those things. I have I have a friend in you. I have a husband in you. I have um like a mentor in you because mm. in some aspects of our life and especially when it comes to content creation and the creative space you do play a very big role mm. in the person I have become as a content creator can you believe that yeah. I am a content creator Shiger can you believe Kamatina. it yeah. <laughs> an Shiger. influencer mm. yeah we have achieved so much We've, we have overcome so many things we've had our very good highs and very very low lows mm. but you've held each other down you you have held me down for 15 years and i just want to say thank you thank you for who you are mm. thank you for what you are in my life mm. and thank you for the person you are to mumbos because you're just more than you not you not only a dad but so many other things when you bestie yake when you actually sometimes i feel jealous i feel like kuna vile anakupenda kuniliko i never realized if there's something like if, if she has like two sweets left yeah. and she needs to share the one sweet mm. she has eaten one there is one left yeah. and she needs to share that yeah. with someone in the house that sweet is is definitely is definitely coming to you that's because dads are girls first boyfriends yeah that's what they say and yeah yeah through mumbos like i see it like i see it so thank you thank you thank you for everything thank you thank you i am the person i am today because of you yeah and that's my love to you oh bless you Thank you. Okay. Asa Yes. Tayo, sema tu times 2. No. No, no, no. Okay. 
Eh Judy Nyamira Mutua. Eh love of my life, mother of my daughter. You have taught me a lot. You taught me how to be a husband. Mm-hmm. Through you I have learned how to be a father. Okay. And generally you have made me a better person in the 15 years that we've been together. You have stuck through the mud and we have enjoyed all the beautiful things that have come our way. Mm-hmm. And I tell you now here right now mm-hmm. without fear or favor mm-hmm. that if I was to do this all over again mm-hmm. I would not choose any other person. No. Oh. Yes, we <laughs> do it again and again until we tap out. Mm-hmm. Every day above ground is a blessing mm-hmm. because you exist in my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, <laughs> 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 um it's it's shocking how far we've come mm. and how much we've been able to achieve mm. and we're still young mm. i can't even begin to fathom where we will be mm. in another 15 years man it's crazy just thinking about it i know yeah. but the fact that you're here mm. and uh, you're just this awesome human being it makes life bearable and i can't wait to see how those 15 years will whiz by mm. yeah thank you very much for everything that you've done for myself and for our baby <laughs> yeah you oh my god like i have a mother uh may she rest in peace mm-hmm. but i see the way you raise our baby mm. and i'm like mom i hope you're watching this <laughs> girl man <laughs> <laughs> It's oh my god. You're amazing. Let me just let me not say a million things. Yeah, but just like I told you 15 years ago, mm. I am here for good. All right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Any time. Any time will be any time. Thank you. So so. Yeah, ni the first time I was uh, you were gonna read okay. Mm. Say out loud. Mm. Or rather, a love letter. Yeah, was on Stephanie's channel. Was on Stephanie's channel. Yeah. <laughs> But even... thank you, baby. Oh, well. anytime, thank man. Thank you. Well, I think. Uh... <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, beautiful. Oh my man. God. Yes, uh, this is therapeutic. Huh? I know it is such mm. good vibes. Yeah. Ah, boss. <laughs> Correct. Oh, this was so good. Yeah. Kabisa. What? Ah, this is. Awesome. Sasa. Oh, it's a rap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. But before it's a rap, mm-hmm. I do like a check-in. Mm. So, is there any question or response? Mm. Surprise you and you didn't know how your partner felt about. Mm. Any surprise? Oh, surprisingly no, man. That's why we were high-fiving yeah. up. Yeah. I think we know each yeah. other did. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't feel like yeah. They, yeah. I don't feel yeah. like there's anything that was by surprise. Yeah. 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 Like For newer couples I think they uh, yeah. they get such but since 15 years, but since 15 years ma- we've eh, told each other almost everything. Eh, we've yeah. experienced each other. Mm-hmm. It's it's insane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so as ah, good. Let me start. You can find me at uh, uh, 07 my Mpesa number. My bank account is um, <laughs> Abel Mutua Instagram, Abel Mutua YouTube, Mkurugenzi Abel Mutua Facebook. Which other one? Abel underscore Mutua TikTok. Twitter. At Mutua Abel Twitter. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much it. Mm. Yeah. 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 Uh for me where you can find me oh was there something else I was meant to say before, before that no mm, mm. uh for Judy you can find me on Instagram at Judy Nyoya on uh TikTok at Bimkuru mm. on YouTube Judy Nyoya on uh Facebook Judy Nyoya 
Yeah, which I just should know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All platforms. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and if you have time, uh, we're on Netflix. Uh-huh. Click, click, bang. We just premiered on Netflix um, two days ago. Okay, from when we shot this episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, if you have some two hours thirty eight minutes that you need to bang, yeah. Watch uh, watch the film. Okay, we shot it as a movie, but on Netflix it's a three part series. Yeah, yeah. Uh, perfect uh, way to you know spend some time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, awesome. Beautiful. Oh. Natume yeah. Shiba. Hey. Ah, we. This was so good. This was we had awesome. We had a very nice time. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much for watching this episode of A Love Letter. We hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, make sure you like this video, leave a comment down below and join our amazing SNS family. That's it from us and we'll see you in the next time.